Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Endercraft server and I'm really enjoying playing on here. It's a lot of fun and we have some cool new stuff popping out. Um this is not a building. This is a claim spot from uh Delfron who's gonna build a uh something there, we'll see. Uh, but uh yeah, it's a lot of fun. And so first Look at this guys. What's with my hand? It looks weird. It it has more texture, it has some claws. What is that? And if we do this, whoa, what is that? Is that a new skin? And if we do this, ba blam <laughs> check this out guys. I have a new skin. It looks pretty cool, like an ender dragon, but uh yeah, so I have to walk around here without a helmet on because it looks a bit weird with the helmet on but anyways the plan for today's episode is uh, to automate some stuff actually just do some more redstone and uh, let me and I first need to show you what I've done off camera so uh blam <laughs> a whole laboratory is done we have done the lab and uh, as you can see I went for kind of a mesa look for the floor and also the ceiling and walls and we have these bands of uh, stone slabs going around which looks pretty cool and uh, yeah we have the slime glanders here which you already saw but uh, yeah if we go in here you can see that we have a huge huge cactus farm here which looks amazing it really does so if we go down here which is drop quickly we have a villager here which uh, escaped somehow and a chest with loads and loads of cactus I mean seriously guys this is a bunch of cactus which is amazing awesome we can sell that to anyone in need for cactus or something. <laughs> uh, Delphi should be a good customer for cactus because he is building loads of big flowers and uh, those kind of stuff on his uh, house which looks pretty cool but yeah these cactuses are producing tons of cactuses <laughs> and uh, yeah so that's it and now what I need to do is um how to make this so it goes all the way to a chest up here so that all drops go into the chest which should be pretty easy to build just a simple item elevator I got the back ice I got water I got fence gate foam fence uh not gates just fence uh and um yeah everything that I need in here which is pretty cool uh, so yeah, I'm co probably gonna do that off camera because it will be boring just me mining out a tunnel and placing packed ice on the floor. Uh, so yeah guys, I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna be right back. Okay guys, welcome back, welcome back guys. And um, so I did the uh, item elevator which is pretty cool. Check this out, all my cacti is coming up here which is amazing. That's 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 awesome. I I don't have to go down there again. And you are in the way. Let's just get you here. There we go. <clears throat> okay, guys. So uh, I'll just quickly explain this item elevator. So we have water uh, going in that direction, and then left, and then we have back ice underneath. So I'll just go. Through here, as you can see, the items would uh, fly through here and then get pushed to this side and then get pushed like this into this fence right there. I just break this block too. Right there, and then they would get up there. Oh, we can, let me show you this quickly. We can get out <laughs> up here. Let's go. Let's go. There we go. Okay. And we did this, as you saw, they went straight up, which is pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, that's the 
um, item elevator, and so the plan for today's episode is to make a mine, because we still use the one from the spawn, or, or someone made some little mine, or something, so we need that to be done pretty quickly, and, uh, yeah, so we're gonna be working on that today, so, uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back up there. Okay, guys, I'm back, and uh, I removed the automated chicken farm, because we are getting some cool shops over there, which is a lot of fun. And I moved the Delphrens, uh notification for his new prices. So yeah, we have loads of uh, uh, space to work with. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any kind of building outside of here. I'll think about that. But um, first thing what we need to do is start making the mine. So it's going to be... Going into this hill right here, so just start with this. I was thinking about making it four by four because that's pretty big, and uh, it's gonna also go through the mountain as well as down. Because um, on the other side of my mountain we have the place where we can uh, get clay, so we don't ruin the terrain from this side, and we we'll be able to go down because. Um, Way to get those diamonds, <laughs> and uh, yeah, so I kind of got a little bit of inspiration from the adventure map, I think it's called uh, Mesa Valley. Uh, they have some really cool mines in that map, which uh, I'm gonna try to copy a little bit, <laughs> Not just a little bit, uh, but uh, yeah, let's start digging this out.
welcome back guys, welcome back to the new mine, which was a lot of fun to do actually, and uh, yeah, we still have loads of work to do around here, we have to make this all look good, and work on loads and loads of stuff, because we're gonna make this look really good, and as you saw, we found a mine shaft on the way down, which is pretty cool, I'll just explore it for a second. Uh, what lever? Oh, no, no diamonds on this level. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is really cool. We'll probably find a cave spider spawner around here so we can make a XP farm, which should be a lot of fun and helpful because, um, we always have to go to the spawn, even though it's not too far. It's just a few blocks away, but, um, yeah, we'll be able to get loads of string, which is awesome. But, uh, yeah, enough about that. Uh, what we need to do now, I finished the staircase going down, but we didn't yet finish the, the tunnel going to the other side of the hill, and I'm probably gonna do that off camera. And I'm gonna work on loads of stuff off camera on this mine, and I'm probably gonna do a, uh, updates in the next episode, and we'll, we'll, only thing that I'm sure that we'll do, on the video is uh, work on the staircase because uh, that's like the most important part of the tunnel so uh, yeah we'll I'll maybe do some kind of a small building around here I'll st I still have to come up with this because I don't have too many ideas but uh, yeah um, this is the mine and so uh, if you have and if you have seen the Mesa Valley uh, uh, map, you saw that there's like, um, cool, uh, it just, it's really cool. I'll, I'll try to remember to put a link down in the description to the video because they show the mine a little bit in the video, but, uh, they have some cool, like, um, plants growing, uh, in that and like, uh, broken rails and migrants, a few like uh, on the rails and some kind of chests around. It looks really cool and I'm gonna try to uh, use that idea in this mine and also we need to uh, put a banners here. I'm gonna do a one more let's just do that right now. Another row of clay around here. There we go. And so we're gonna have the mine <laughs> with the banners here. Uh, oh yeah, it has to be one more higher. Because the barriers are two blocks <laughs> uh, tall. So let's just do this. There we go. And yeah, so we're gonna have the mine. And for the, it's three blocks, but we're gonna have a banner here, which is gonna look like a mine. At least that's my idea. I don't know if the, someone has come up with a banner which looks like a mine. I'll <laughs> look that up on the internet, but um, yeah, the m and the mine is gonna go here, which should look really good, and I'm really excited to do that. Um, but yeah, we have done the basics of the mine. We have uh, pe we have everything done so people can start mining, and uh, people from the server, if you're watching this, don't mine everywhere where you can. This is like a uh, tutorial how to use the mine, uh, but uh, you will mine every three blocks. So here and here, then one to three, here and here, then one to three, here and here, then one to three, and so on and so on. So uh, don't ruin the mine because loads of people like start like this, and then for some reason they start mining every other block, which doesn't look really good, and uh, yeah. So mine like that guys, because even if you mine block by block, there's a good chance that you won't find any more diamonds than if you would, if you put a gap of three blocks in between, because diamonds usually have few ores which find their way to one of the mines. Hopefully that made any sense, but uh, yeah, we still have to work on this mine a lot, and I'm pretty happy how this looks, so uh, yeah, we'll leave this for now. And we're gonna have a little walk around here. We're not gonna look at that shop right next to us, cause uh, 
it's just being built, but uh, yeah, this is a new shop built from Delford, and uh, I mean, this is awesome. I mean, western style, like 100%. It looks amazing, and it's a wood shop, which is really cool. And hay bale here, it looks amazing. Seriously, it does. And it says Dells and Pies, far and near, wooden stuck up. Anyways, I might buy um oak wood from here because we will need it for the mine. But uh, I still have loads of oak wood at my place, so I'm not sure. But uh, this is a pretty good deal to get a stack of wood for one diamond. The other woods are 32, which is uh, actually really expensive if you look how much the oak wood costs. And uh, definitely if you're hearing this, don't make the prices up higher or 32 oak wood per diamond, because that would destroy the shop. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, don't increase this, uh, the the uh payment oh my god price a uh, price oh, i couldn't remember the word uh <laughs> the price of the oak wood because i'm probably gonna buy that and you're gonna get some diamonds <laughs> but yeah don't look at that we also have I'm, I'm not sure if i showed this but this is a saddle shop which uh is awesome before it costed like name tag six diamonds saddle six diamonds and the horse armor 16 diamonds now it's really reasonable which is awesome. I'll probably buy a diamond horse armor when I start getting into horses more. And, uh, yeah. So, that's basically it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to drop a like. And if you want to see more, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.